insane, pathetic, a disgrace. I'm Essie Cup. Welcome to Unfiltered. Believe it or not, those were the words right-wing voices used to describe Donald Trump's attack on his own former press secretary, Kayleigh McEnany, this week. In case you missed it, McEnany went on Fox News, where she is now a contributor, to discuss the Republican primary polls and noted that Trump was polling at 34 percent in Iowa in April and is now down to 25 percent, according to McLaughlin and Associates, Trump's preferred pollster. Her former boss didn't like that, so he took to Truth Social, blasting the woman who supported him dutifully since 2017, first as Republican National Committee spokeswoman and later as his press secretary. Kaylee Milktoast McEnany just gave out the wrong poll numbers on Fox News, Trump wrote. I am 34 points up on DeSanctimonious, not 25 up. While 25 is great, it's not 34. She knew the number was corrected upwards by the group that did that poll. Notably, McLaughlin does not appear to have corrected the poll that McEnany accurately cited. But Trump concluded his post saying the rhinos and globalists can have her. Fox News should only use real stars. It was a brutal swipe at someone who was just doing her job. So brutal, in fact, that many on the right came to her defense. Newsmax host Rob Finnerty said, I don't like it, especially with someone like Kayleigh McEnany, who's seemingly so loyal to her former boss. Fox News host Brian Kilmeade called it insane. Blaze TV host Chad Prather called it pathetic, unacceptable, and unhinged. Trump's former deputy director of communications, Matt Wolking, called it a disgrace. And Fox News political analyst Britt Hume tweeted, Imagine being so immature as to attack your former press secretary, who is nothing if not loyal, for allegedly misquoting a poll number. This backlash against Trump from the right is remarkable for a few reasons. One, obviously, Kayleigh McEnany is very well-liked. So well-liked that those in conservative circles are willing to attack him to defend her. I had the pleasure of working with Kaylee while she was a pundit here at CNN. And while we disagreed often, she was smart, prepared, thoughtful, kind, and a total pro. And I second all the kind words said about her. But it's also revealing that Trump is no longer above reproach, even among those who once supported him. Attacking McEnany was obviously an indignity not worth suffering for a political movement that's suffered happily through plenty of them. But the takeaway for me is bigger than Kaylee. What this says is that Trump can go too far in shooting inside the tent. A presidential opponent like Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina, for example, who is very well liked in Congress, the Republican Party and his home state, won't be easy for Trump to attack, especially if he does it dirty, as we all know he can. Look, I'm sure Trump has plenty of fight left in him, but Kaylee might just be a canary in the coal mine. That's it for me. See you next week.